at exactly the middle point of the axis okay bisect the axis of the cone draw the development so here uh, you take draw an uh, x y line here or a smaller line also possible because this is, this is not drawn with the parallel line method this is having slanted line we should consider here i'll consider the diameter 50 mm for the cone base of the cone is a circle so it is drawn with the diameter 50 and here again i am dividing this circle into four equal parts okay so by doing four equal parts it is easy and we can construct it easily if eight parts means it will take a little bit of more time so if you want you can do it with the four eight parts also so for for you people to understand i am showing with only the four parts so write down the namings okay, draw the projection line support to complete the front weave Axis length here will be considering 60 mm. Axis height of 60. Show the dimensions. Okay. Okay, so this is drawn with the slanted length so we don't require a parallel line here okay so you can show that uh, slanted length that is capital r 65 mm okay you can mention capital r slanted capital r is equal to you can mention r is equal to 65 mm okay and smaller that is radius radius it is 25 to find out the development of this we have the formula okay that is small r by capital r into 360 degree so that's how we can able to find out the development area of the cone okay remember it small r by capital r into 360 degree okay into 360 degree so using the calculator if you find out so you can use the calculator here to find out how much uh, the angle it is the angle we are getting that is 138 degree okay 138 degrees so first we have to draw one vertical line or horizontal line whichever it is for a length of 65 m that is capital r we have to draw 65 and then go to arc by center go to arc by center select this 65 mm and give the angle that is 138 degree okay you have to give the angle here okay the radius length it is fixed that is 65 and here angle you have to give angle that is 138 degree okay you can give the angle okay this is what the development of it so select this portion and keep it properly in a space so that you can able to see it properly okay making a copy and moving it so just I'll delete that one part okay this is what the development of it but we need to show with the cut plane here so you can show the dimensions and the angle no problem but we need to show with the angle line here this is what you can see the basic problem but you can see here we have to show with the cut plane a section plane perpendicular to vp inclined at dash degree to the hp bisects the axis of the comb bisect means it is exactly the midpoint we should consider okay so midpoint you can see this is how you can find out this is what the midpoint symbol and here we can have to take the angle so here the angle consider that is 45 degree 
45 degree angle go to extend to next okay okay now can we can show the angle and we can able to development and again you have to find out the development of the truncated cone that is the lower part lower portion of it we have to find out okay with the help of uh, split command i'm going to split it to find out the exact points here okay make those lines as thin lines 0.13 okay you can mention 1 2 3 here but we should project this uh, 1 2 3 points okay 1 2 3 4 points on the slanted length we have the slanted length of 65 here okay we have to project all these points here that's what i'm going to do it okay from here as until you draw to the this uh, slanted lengths okay you can just project it and this is one and this is one on the slanted and this is two can this is two and three we having it here and four we are having it here so we can measure the dimensions here from one from that exact uh, apex point to here that is 50.55.71 then from that again that apex point to the point number two can measure the dimension that exact length we should measure using distance between two points so you can change that using distance between command is there right you can change that option here and then you can able you can able to measure it to the exact points okay okay this is what the dimensions we get 55.71 32.5 so for now first we have to divide this uh, arc area that is cone area into four equal parts okay so to divide this into four equal parts so we will go to the we have to use the arc by center command okay arc by center command you can do it so here in solid dst4 you cannot able to divide that area using that angle command that means we should go to the arc by center command only First, I will take that uh, 65 length and cut two arcs exactly at the middle, 65, and cut it. From that extreme point again okay, end point you have to consider that 65 mm length you should consider So cut two arcs and join this at the exact point here center point so from this center point we can draw a line straight line connecting it so now it is divided into two equal parts okay the same way from that exact point we can consider any length
again from that uh, two extreme points we should consider the length and cut cut cutting the arc so that we can again we can divide these two equal parts into four equal parts okay is yes, from this extreme point you can consider any length okay here i'll consider 50 so cut the arc the same we can do it on the other side also consider 50 mm cut the arc again from that extreme point consider the radius 50 and cut the arc okay here also you can consider radius of 50 and cut the arc you can extend these two arcs yes now you can see that clearly now you can join these uh, points with the straight line to that point here so that it will be divided into exactly four equal parts here okay now we are, we are going to trim it out the extra lines here and we can mention the namings here mention with capital A capital B capital C capital D and capital A okay first length we should consider on vertical edge it is 55.71 okay to get that exact point number one so go to arc by center you can consider a radius of 55.71 71 enter and cut the arc okay, the same we can do it on a vertical edge of a 55.71 enter Okay, this is what your points one here now on the vertical edge d we have point number four point number four and point number two are same length i'll consider 32.5 what it is there cut the arc and the same way you can do it on the vertical edge b here 32.5 cut the arc now on the vertical edge c you need to cut it for 22.94 so give the radius okay cut it now you can write the naming for it so this is one this is two this is three and this is four and this is we have one now connect this all this point using curve command here because this is an uh, cone here so go to arc and go to curve command and connect all these points okay go to curve command here okay subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited from this so if you if you like the video you can support like this channel for your contributions and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited from this okay so this completes the problem thank you for watching the video subscribe for the channel turn the bell icon for the latest notifications and share it to the maximum students